Winnie's Magic Wand Written by Valerie Thomas and illustrated by Corky Paul Winnie the Witch jumped out of bed Ah, good morning, Wilbur It was a special day It was the day of the witch's magic show Marvellous And Winnie was making a wonderful new spell Wonderful! She felt nervous. Oh, I hope nothing goes wrong, she said. Wilbur felt nervous too. Are you nervous, Wilbur? Oh, silly cat. I expect something will go wrong, he thought. What shall I wear? Said Winnie. She got out her party dress. Oh, there it is. Yes. Oh, no. She had spilt red jelly on it. Oh, my dress. Oh, no. Winnie threw the dress into the washing machine. Oh, come on, Wilbur. I'll clean it up. Then she threw in her towels, her pyjamas and her stripy tights. Oh, oh very dirty. My own. Um, she turned on the washing machine. Oh, there it goes. Yes, ah, perfect. Marvellous. Oh. Swish, swish, clunk, it went. When the washing machine had finished going swish, swish, clunk, Winnie took out the clothes and hung them on the line. But her magic wand had been washed as well. Oh no! Oh no! I hope it still works, Winnie said. Winnie dried the wand with a towel. Oh, there we are. I'll try it out, she said. Something easy. I'll change this apple into an orange. Yes. She closed her eyes, waved her wand, and shouted, Abracadabra! Suddenly there was an apple tree growing in her kitchen. Bother, said Winnie. That one's not working properly. Winnie dried the wand with her hair dryer. Ah, that's better, she said. I'll try again. I'll turn this apple tree back into an apple again. Yes! She picked up the wand and shouted, Abracadabra! This time, the apple tree turned into an enormous apple pie. Winnie moaned. Now she really was worried. Oh, I'm very worried. It was nearly time for the magic it's show. It's nearly time. The wonderful new spell would be a disaster. What can we do, Wilbur? Wilbur was worried too. Then Wilbur had an idea. He ran out of the house, down the road, and into the town. Perhaps he could find a new wand for Winnie. He looked in all the shops, but no magic wands. Then, around the corner, he saw a little shop. In the window was a big box of wands. Wilbur grabbed one and galloped off home. It was getting late. Soon it would be too late for the magic show. Winnie was very, very worried. What could she do? What am I going to do? 
Then Wilbur ran through the cat flap with the new wand. Oh, Wilbur! cried Winnie. You are a clever cat. She didn't oh, even oh, have oh, time oh, to put oh. on her party dress. She jumped on her broomstick. Oh, very comfy. Wilbur jumped onto her shoulder. And off they went. Hold tight, Wilbur. Oh, oh, come on. Yes. Oh, yes. They arrived just in time for Winnie's spell. Come on there, Winnie! Everyone was sitting there feeling excited. <laughs> Winnie always did something special. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Put your friends together for tonight's special guest, Winnie the Witch. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Winnie. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Show us what you've got. Uh, um, first announced Winnie. I will turn my beautiful black cat into a green cat. She waved her wand and shouted, Abracadabra! Wilbur waited. Everyone waited. Winnie tried again. Abracadabra! Nothing. At last, a bunch of paper flowers popped out of the end of the trick wand. One of the witches started to laugh. <laughs> Soon, everyone was laughing. They laughed, they screamed, they shrieked, and fell off their chairs. <laughs> what a clever joke, Willie! They cried. Where did you get that from? <laughs> Winnie smiled, but she didn't say anything. And neither did Wilbur. <laughs>